Thank you for joining me. Today we're going to learn about soil formation. And the image you're looking at is the beginning of soil formation. Just like all the elements in our body, the origin of that those elements are from stars and ultimately supernovas when they explode and release all those all that rich, heavy, dense elements into the universe and ultimately forming the earth. After the earth formed, Five soil forming factors manifested and helped us transform Earth into an habitable, almost self sustaining planet. And the reason why I say almost self sustaining is because the introduction of Homo sapiens, humans, drastically changed the world. Now back to soil. There are five soil forming factors, paramaterial, climate, time, organisms, and topography. Any change in any of these variables results in a different soil. Paramaterial is the most important factor in soil formation. Paramaterial is the rock the soil is predominantly comprised of. You have igneous rocks sedimentary and metamorphic any one of these can be the paramaterial of soil a soil's paramaterial actually can tell you the composition of the soil it can allow you to have a, a very accurate estimation of what nutrients will be available for plants for example uh, a limestone paramaterial would mean there are a lot there's a lot of available calcium inside of that soil because limestone is calcium carbonate. Topography or relief is the way the landscape is designed. It can, you can have a steep slope or a small slope. The percentage of these slopes determine how much water is infiltrated into the soil or collecting on top of the soil, resulting and changes in the soil's horizons. I will talk about horizons later on in this video. Organisms are very important to soil formation. They help with a very important process that I will explain later on. But most importantly, they release organic matter on top of the soil or into the soil via exudates, secretions from plant roots, or just decay, organic matter, leaves decaying on top of limestone, creating a, a layer of organic matter. Climate and soil formation is usually water. The more water you have infiltrating soil, the more development of the soil profile. More, small, more particles can sink into further lower horizons, uh, more acids can be uh, breaking down pear material, uh, more water means bigger plants, so more organic matter. So water is climate and soil formation. Time in soil formation is one of the most simplest factors. For example, if I had a weak acid and a paramaterial, also, as much time as I want, I will dissolve that paramaterial. So, the more time you have, the more developed a soil will be. Another great example where you can form an analogy to give you a better uh, understanding of this term is children, kids, humans. We are born we are born babies and via time we develop into adults just like soil you have baby soils and via time you have developed soils same process now that you have a basic understanding of all five soil forming factors it's time to learn the hidden driver of soil formation weathering weathering can be mechanical or chemical. Mechanical weathering could be uh, frost, 
um, crystal growth, um, biological activity, abrasions, and so on and so forth. Chemical weathering can come from acids, uh, water, oxidation, reduction. A great example of mechanical weathering is trees or vegetation growing on rocks. The roots of these the, of the vegetation will ultimately break the rock because the roots want to expand to gain more water and nutrients. A great example of chemical weathering is an acid dissolving a rock. When carbon dioxide gets in contact with um, water vapor in the atmosphere, it will it can precipitate acid rain, and that acid rain will dissolve rocks such as limestone, and ultimately forming soil.